In conventional deep water drilling, Chevron works through a blowout preventer at the sea floor to drill deep water wells within a steel riser extending from a drill ship. Drilling mud is pumped down a rotating drill pipe to lubricate the drill bit and carry the rock cuttings back up within the riser. But the mud's weight makes the riser's inside pressure nearly twice that of the deep ocean. In subsea mud lift drilling, SMD, mud still flows down inside the rotating drill pipe to the drill bit, but a seawater powered mud lift pump above the blowout preventer circulates mud and cuttings back to the drill ship through a pipe outside the riser. We fill the riser with a seawater like fluid so the riser pressure matches the ocean pressure, simplifying the challenge of dealing with fluctuating pressures from the fields under the sea floor. It's like operating a drill ship on the bottom, more like land drilling, where risers aren't needed. The SMD ingenuity of recirculating mud up a pipe outside a riser is nearly matched by the design of the mud lift pump. To make it work, the drill ship sends seawater down a pipe to the pump, where it pulses over a diaphragm, like a kid bouncing on a trampoline, pushing the mud back up its own pipe to the drill ship. No need to loop the seawater back up. Endless in supply, harmless to the environment, it's discharged back to the sea. In May 2012, the world's first SMD drill ship, Pacific Santa Ana, arrived in the Gulf of Mexico. The ship completed testing on an exploration well in February 2015, with final testing on another Pacific Santa Ana drilled well expected in late 2015.